Hey guys, it's Lex here with another first impressions video. Now this is kind of confusing because I found this, I was uh, moving some stuff out of my room and came across this, this Alva Hab here called the Alva Hab Lovely. And what happened was, um, about, it must have been maybe a few months back, um, someone came over and they were like cleaning out my room and stuff and by cleaning out just throwing shit out and messed everything up. I've got a wee system of stuff's kept. And at that time, I received a bunch of samples, like a, a shit ton of samples from some people. And I, I just fucking out misplacing them because everything was scattered about, you know, with this fucking annoying bossy person who shall not be named, who needs to see a fucking therapist, quite frankly. But anyway, um, I sent this and I said to the person, it's not that I'm being lazy, I just, I don't know where the hell it is. It's just gone missing. And I had, there was this, and there was another one with a clear bottle that had no name on it. And I think it was Golden Sand or something it was called. Well, this is Alva Hab Lovely. I don't think I've done it before. If someone remembers that I have, do tell me. I did type the name of this in and search around my channel, but it seems that I haven't done it before. So let's get a look at this. Let's have a quick look at the what the sort of thing looks like. So now just adjust here. Oh, the autofocus is on. Shit. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, lovely there. It's nothing too special. It just it looks lovely. But um, yeah, it's, it's a weird name. I'll have lovely. That smells lovely. I know, right? Um, so let's have a. Have a sniff of this. Cap's a bit weird compared to all other Habs as well, but anyway. We'll put on my skin actually, because that's... Uh, fuck. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, at least it's not the Old Spice... Like that old Spice... Splash Bottle. Jesus. There we go, better. So this actually does smell really nice. It does smell lovely. <laughs> it smells lovely, but... um. It's actually really nice. Um, kind of feminine. Reminds me of a perfume my ex used to wear. Was it Britney Spears? I think. I can't remember. But don't don't sort of think it smells like Britney Spears because of that. But it smells really sweet. Candy-like. Really feminine. It smells almost like... If someone told me, oh yeah, that was like a Kim Kardashian scent or something, I'd believe him. It does have that sort of would appeal to teenage givers feel to it. But it's got a sort of charm in there. You know, It's got a sort of Arabian quality to it that I quite like and that's what Alva Hab has they always have their own sort of signature you can tell what an Alva Hab is if that makes sense and it's, it smells really damn nice I mean it, it literally is like a overly sweet like it's weird not, it's not sweet like Yolp but like um, candy shop sort of sweet I'm not sure if Prada Candy would come under that but um, it is really damn good um, I personally wouldn't believe it is it's not my kind of sweet. It's sort of, and maybe the same sort of category as Tutti Musk. I think maybe not as bevy sort of vibe like um, you know, like ha Haribo bevies as opposed to real bevies. Um, but it's it's really like a candy shop. It's pretty feminine. You need to be a balls to the wall, not single fuck given mafia guy if you really want to wear this, but. I will give it a proper review, talk about performance and stuff. I just discovered this and thought, hey, I don't think I've, I've really talked about this before. And I do remember I'd done a, a big thing with Oud, Oud 24 Hours and Oud Shasafan, whatever the fuck it was called. Um, and I said, oh, I've got an album, I think it was called Lovely and I can't find it. And this is it, sitting there in plain sight. So either the other one that I thought I reviewed is missing and it was this that I reviewed. Uh, it's the R, uh, it's just, yeah, fuck knows. I think, oh, pardon me, oh my God, my apologies. I think they'd do it anyway, because it is, um, it did smell pretty damn nice, um, when I sift it in there. I think, um, if I had to pick, I would go for Alvahab Soft, because, I mean, soft is, it's like lemon sponge cake. I mean, it is so legit. I mean, it smells like someone's just opened a lemon sponge cake that they've brought fresh from the bakers. I mean, it's, it's so legit. I mean, honestly, they should be charging a hundred quid a bottle for that stuff, because it's fucking incredible. And I, I rarely get blown away nowadays. You know, I'm kind of losing interest with some fragrances. I'm just uninspired. But that really blew me away. And it, this is sort of in the same sort of category, you know. Sweet candy-ish. But, I mean, if I had to pick between these, I'd pick soft. It's not bad. It is nice for, for that whole candy vibe. You know, it's it's really nice, actually. Like I said, but it's pretty feminine. And, like I said, if, you, if someone told me, also, design a uh, uh, celebrity scent, I wouldn't be surprised. But, yeah, for the price of our Habs, if you're interested in something different, um, that sort of, you know, if you're a teenage school girl and you really want to fit in with the crowd, um, yeah, definitely give us one a try. Not a bad hour have at all. Um, 
And I will get around to giving it a full review and talking about performance, where to wear it and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video. And keep on smelling fly.